In this video, we're going to complete an example and it's all about naming angles. So if we look at question A, and we've actually done one very similar to this before, if I was to name it, I would use the angle terminology, which is kind of like a leaning over L. This means angle. And I can write it as angle X, Y, Z, or I can write it as angle Z, Y, X. Remembering that what is important is that the vertex is in the middle. Now let's move on to question B. And you'll notice that this is a little different because rather than finding the smaller angle inside here, they want you to find the larger angle on the outside of it. So how do we do that? Well, we basically do the same thing with a little addition to it. It could be either angle P, Q, R, or angle R, Q, P. But because we're measuring the angle on the outside, we need to write reflex at the front of it. So we're saying it's reflex angle P, Q, R, or reflex angle R, Q, P. The reason we do that is this really large angle is called a reflex angle. A reflex angle is one that is larger than 180 degrees. Lastly, we'll look at question C. They want us to label this angle down here like so. You'll notice that we've got the letter S is our vertex. So we're going to call this angle TSV, or we could label it as angle VST. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below if you would like to print out a worksheet on these questions.